Ken Roxon said in an interview recently with regards to hydration, I always have salt tablets with me. Our workouts are so intense and it's not like we're in an air conditioned gym. So I really need to stay on top of that so I don't cramp. As soon as I get dehydrated, I start getting really drowsy and I have a hard time focusing. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, my name is Andrew Hammer and I've helped hundreds of riders and racers from around the world get race fit and race ready. As always, professional riders and racers don't give us too much to work on in terms of tactical stuff and usually very broad in their answers. So this video is gonna give you three things that you can implement to improve your hydration, stop cramping, and be able to focus more on the bike. Number one is making sure you've got adequate carbs. So you'll notice in the word carbohydrates, the word hydrate is in the word carbohydrate. And the reason it's in there is because carbs help our body to hold on to a lot of water and keep us hydrated. Now, one of the problems that happens with riding and racing is we're burning through a lot of energy and burning through a lot of our stored carbs. So if those carbs aren't replaced, it's very hard for us to be able to keep ourselves hydrated as we keep riding and as we keep racing. So how do you fix this? A simple uh, go-to would be using a carbohydrate drink. So for a motocross event, if you're doing half an hour races, you wanna be getting in roughly 25 grams of carbs after every ride or every race. So you can simply uh, buy a carb supplement or a carb powder and you can mix that with your water to make sure you're getting your 25 grams of carbs for every half an hour ride or race that you do. Second thing is salt. So when you're doing a lot of riding and racing, you sweat a lot. And especially with gear on, especially if you're riding in the hotter months, you're sweating a lot and you're losing a lot of salt and sodium. So the reason that salt or sodium is important is because it helps our body to retain and hold on to water. So hydration isn't just about getting a whole heap of water in. Hydration is about how much of that water our body can actually hold on to. So if you're sweating a lot and we're losing a lot of salt and we're losing a lot of water and we're just replacing that with more water, what's gonna happen is that water is gonna run straight through us rather than actually being retained. So how do you retain the water? Simple way to uh, work on this, which is similar to what Ken does uh, using salt tablets, but an easier way. Um, you can add two and a half grams of salt preferably sea salt or Himalayan salt as they're better qualities than table salt uh, to every liter of water that you have. So two and a half grams of salt to every liter of water that you have. And that's something you can implement on race day, but also something you can implement on training days and non-riding days to help improve your performance in the gym as well. Third thing is actually water. So if you've got all the carbs in and you've got all the salt in and we're still not getting any water in, then of course you're gonna have major problems with hydration. So how much water is too much and how much is not enough? As a rough rule of thumb, you wanna be anywhere from 30 to 40 mils per kilo of body weight of water per day. So if you weigh 100 kilos, that's anywhere between three to four liters a day. Now there's a couple of things that, will, that can change that. If you're in a colder climate or you're not exercising as much and not sweating as much, you'll find that you'll need a little bit less water. If you're in a hotter climate and it's 40 degrees and you're training outside and there's no air conditioning, um, or maybe you're going for a big ride, then you may need more water than that. So if you struggle with dehydration, you struggle with cramping, you struggle with losing focus as you go and ride and race, implement these three areas and you'll be moving in the right direction. 